In the first part of this video, we learnt about the refraction of light and prism. In the next part of this video, we are going to discuss the Tyndall effect. We have already seen that the generation of heat in a conductor is an inevitable consequence of electric current. That is, heat will be generated in a conductor regardless of the ease with which electric current can pass. Many a times, this conversion of energy to heat is undesirable as it converts useful electrical energy to heat which is lost to the surrounding. Also, we have learnt that majority of the laws related to electricity are applicable at constant temperature and the unavoidable heating can alter the property of the elements or components and can lead to varied results. But the heating effect also has many useful applications. For instance, the electric laundry iron, electric toaster, electric oven, electric kettle and electric heater are some of the familiar devices based on Joule's heating which utilizes the heating effect of electric current. We all have enjoyed the fancy incandescent bulbs used for decorations. The same bulbs were part of regular household few years back. In these bulbs, the electric heating is used to produce light. Here, the filament retains most of the heat, gets hot and emits light without melting at such high temperatures. In these bulbs, tungsten is used because of the high melting point of around 3380 degree Celsius. Additionally, the filament should be thermally isolated as much as possible using insulating support and are usually filled with chemically inactive nitrogen and argon gases or many other noble gas to prolong the life of filament. Most of the power consumed by the filament appears as heat but a small part of it is in the form of light radiated. Many of us have heard from our parents during sudden power cut that the fuse might have melted or fuse ud gaya hoga or the MCB might have tripped. Have you ever thought about that? It also involves Joule's heating. The fuse used in electric circuits protect the circuits and appliances by stopping the flow of any unduly high electric current. The fuse is placed in series with the device and consists of a piece of wire made of a metal or an alloy of appropriate melting point, for example, aluminium, copper, iron, lead, etc. So, during voltage surge or when a current larger than the specified value flows through the circuit, the temperature of the fuse wire increases and melts the wire. This leads to breakdown of the flow of current and thus halts the circuit. The fuse wire used for domestic usage is usually encased in a cartridge of porcelain or similar material with metal ends and are rated as 1A, 2A, 3A, 5A, 10A, etc. depending on the power consumption of the appliances. For example, if a water heater consumes 3 kW power when operated at 220 volt, then which fuse need to be used? In such case, we first need to find the current required for the functioning of the heater that is P equal to VI or I equal to P upon V that is equal to 3000 by 220 that implies 13.64. So, in this case, a 15 ampere fuse must be used. This brings us to the final portion of electricity that is electric power. We have already discussed about power and know that power is defined as the rate of doing work which can be expressed as P equal to W upon T. This is also the rate of consumption of energy. 
From the electricity point of view, we have learnt that electric power is the rate at which electric energy is dissipated or consumed in an electric circuit and is expressed as P equal to Vi or P equal to I square R that is equal to V square upon R. Now the SI unit of electric power is Watt and is defined as the power consumed by a device that carries 1 ampere of current when operated at a potential difference of 1 volt. Thus, 1 watt equal to 1 volt into 1 ampere that is equal to 1 volt ampere. The unit watt is very small. So, in practical usage, the unit called kilowatt is used. Since electrical energy is the product of power and time, the unit of electric energy is therefore watt hour. So, 1 watt hour can be defined as the energy consumed when 1 watt of power is used for 1 hour and this is also the commercial unit of electric energy that we commonly call as unit. 1 kilowatt hour equal to 1000 watt into 3600 seconds. That implies 3.6 into 10 to the power 6 watt second. That is equal to 3.6 into 10 to the power 6 joule. For example, suppose an electric bulb is connected to a 220 volt generator. The current is 0 0.40 ampere and we have to determine the power of the bulb. So, here V equal to 220 volt and I equal to 0 0.40 ampere. We know that P equal to VI that is equal to 220V into 0 0.40 ampere that is equal to 88 joule per second that gives us 88 watt. Let us look at one more example. An electric refrigerator rated 500 watt operates 12 hour a day. What is the cost of the energy to operate it for 30 days at rupees 8 per kilowatt hour? Now, here the total energy consumed by the refrigerator in 30 days would be 500 into 12 into 30 that is equal to 1,80,000 watt hour that is equal to 180 kilowatt hour. So, the cost of operation at 8 rupees per unit will be 180 kilowatt hour into 8 that is equal to rupees 1,440. This video is concluded here and you surely find something new in the next video for test series paper, tutorials and other study materials. Please visit our website www.livitaacademy.com